Chief Election Commissioner K. M. Nurul Huda has urged everyone to shun the path of violence. He requested the leaders and activists of political parties, candidates and their supporters to be patient and follow the electoral code of conduct, expressing his hope that there will not be any more violence. He made the remarks while briefing judicial magistrates at Nirbatron Bhavon in the capital today. EC Secretary Helaluddin Ahmed presided over the function, which was also addressed by election commissioners Mahabub Talukdar, Muhammad Rafiqul Islam, Begum Kobita Khanom, and Brigadier General Retired Shahadat Hussain Chaudhary. K. M. Nurul Huda urged the judicial magistrates to make sure competition in the election does not turn into violence. He said the magistrates should be neutral in dealing with the candidates and that will ensure a fair election. Jatiya Oiko Front started its election campaign formally from today. Top leaders of Jatiya Oiko Front, including BNP led by Dr. Kamal Hussain, started the election campaign through paying respect to the Hazrat Shah Jalal Rahmatullah Alaihi Mazar in Silet. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokul Islam Alungi has urged all to cast their votes for the sheep of Paddy. He made the call while speaking at an election rally at Kazi Bosti in Shodar Upazala of Thakurgao today. The BNP Secretary General then attended some street rally and meetings at the area. Awamili General Secretary Abadul Kader has said BNP is weakening day by day for its negative politics. They began violent activities at Noya Polton which is continuing till now. He said this while speaking at a meeting at Awami League President's political office in Dhaka today. Awami League Publicity and Publication Subcommittee organized the meeting with its chairman, H.T. Imam, in the chair. Awami League Publicity and Publication Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmoud delivered the welcome speech in the meeting. Ubaidul Kader said BNP has begun misleading the people and violent activities failing to get support of the countrymen. He urged the BNP leaders to come to the path of peace, leaving violence. Jashut President Hassanul Haq Inu has said, Oiko Front is acting like an agency to protect, rear and save all criminals. He said, Oiko Front behaves like a great pleader for safeguarding culprits of 1971, 1975 and the arsonists and killers of 21 August. Hassanul Haq Inu made the observations while seeking vote for vote at his electoral constituency of Paramara in Kushtia today. The Jashut president said Sheikh Hasina's grand alliance is playing a role towards peace, liberation and development. No leniency can be shown to criminals as it was not shown to any militant or terrorist. Now BTV's regular field report, People's Voice on Politics and Election. Discussions, stable talks and conversations are going on at every corner of the country as national election is coming nearer. As people are discussing about the government's performance, development of localities and dreams and possibilities of future Bangladesh. Talking to the BTV, few general people from Kaliganj of Gajipur district expressed their thoughts over the next general election. An elderly person said, in the past the roads were dilapidated and they had trouble to move from their locality. This government has built many roads and culverts so they are happy now. Another person said, in the past, serious bomb attacks occurred where many innocent people died, so he does not want to see repetition of the same incident in the future. The bomb terrorists must not come to the state power, he added. One vegetable seller said, before he faced lots of trouble to reach Dhaka to sell his agro-produce, but now, due to easy road communication, he can reach Karun Bazar wholesale agro-market quickly and sell his produce without being late. Another person said he wants to see the continuity of the ongoing development works across the country. He further said he thinks that such development works could only continue by the party which upholds the spirit of liberation war. The Digital Bangladesh Day was observed for the first time across the country today with elaborate programs. 
ICT division celebrated the day with the theme Digital Bangladesh will be Bangabundhu's Shonar Bangla. Finance Minister Abul Mal Abdul Mohit was present as the chief guest at the inaugural session of the day held at Bangabundhu International Conference Centre in Dhaka. With ICT Division Secretary Zuena Aziz in the chair, among others, former Post Telecommunications and Information Technology Minister Mustafa Jabbar and former Science and Technology Minister Architect Yafis Usman also spoke on the occasion. Finance Minister said, Digital Bangladesh is the dream of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and gave credit to the youth for working to materialize the dream. At the function, Finance Minister unveiled a logo and released a commemorative postage stamp of 10 taka marking the Digital Bangladesh Day. Later, six persons and four organizations were awarded with the Digital Bangladesh Award 2018 for their contributions to the ICT sector. Chinese Embassy in Dhaka will offer medical visa for Bangladeshi citizens to avail high quality and reliable treatment in China. In this regard, Chinese Embassy in Dhaka organized a function marking the formal inauguration of medical treatment in China at a hotel in Dhaka today. Chinese Ambassador in Dhaka, Zhang Zhuo, attended the function as the chief guest. Ambassador Zhuo said China has become has come forward with the idea of medical tourism as China offers quality and low-cost advanced treatment. He handed over formal invitations to 20 pre-selected patients to get treatment fully funded by the Chinese Embassy. Now international news. France has issued a maximum level of alert as police hunt a gunman who opened fire at a Christmas market in the eastern city of Strasbourg. Three people were killed and 13 wounded, eight of them seriously. The gunman, known to authorities as having been radicalized in prison, escaped after reportedly being injured. Interior Minister Christophe Castaner said the country had issued an emergency attack alert, expanding police powers and creating the highest degree of vigilance. UK Prime Minister Theresa May faces a vote of confidence in her leadership later after 48 of her Conservative MPs called for one to be held. But a defiant Mrs May vowed to contest the vote with everything she has got. She warned that a new Prime Minister would face the choice of delaying or even stopping Brexit. A result is expected fairly quickly after the voting finishes. Mrs. May said that changing conservative leader would put UK's future at risk and create uncertainty. Killed and imprisoned journalists of The Guardians have been named the 2018's Person of the Year by Time. The magazine featured four different covers with journalists who have been targeted for their work this year. One cover with Jamal Khashoggi was a well-known Saudi journalist and vocal critic of the Saudi Arabian leadership. He disappeared after entering a Saudi consulate in Istanbul in October. Times said former CNN journalist Maria Ressa founded her online news site Rappler and has been openly critical of President Rodrigo Duterte questioning the accuracy of his public statements, particularly over his deadly war on drugs. Reuters journalists Wa Lone and Kyo So U, both citizens of Myanmar, were sentenced to seven years due to their work in September 2017 investigating the murder murders of 10 Rohingya men by the army in the northern Rakhine village of Indin. Now news on sports. Paris Saint-Germain PSG beat Red Star Belgrade by four goals to one and reached the Champions League football's last 16 round as C Group champion. Liverpool also reached in the last 16 round as C Group runner-up while they beat Napoli by one goal to nil. Borussia Dortmund confirmed the knockout stage as A-group champion while they beat Monaco by two goals to nil. 
Atletico Madrid from A Group, Barcelona and Tottenham Hotspur from B Group, Porto FC and Shai 4 from D Group also reached to the last 16 round. And to end the, head, and to end the bulletin, headlines once again. President Mohammed Abdul Hamid asks newly commissioned BAF officers to serve nation with honesty, sincerity and dedication. Prime Minister and Awami League President Sheikh Hasina formally starts election campaign paying respect to father of the nation at Tungipara Mausoleum. Chief Election Commissioner urges political parties to act with patience and avoid undesired incidents during election campaign. Nation observed first ever Digital Bangladesh Day under theme Digital Bangladesh to be Bangabundhu's Shonar Bangla. Gunmen kills at least three and wounds 13 at French Christmas market suspect escapes scene and in Champions League football PSG qualifies to round of 16 defeating Belgrade 4 to 1 that will be all from the newsroom at the moment thank you for staying with us we invite you to watch our 1130 Bangla news Kodafis. Kodafis.